Hey, hey, cookers, welcome back to the channel. We're here, Blackpool Pleasure Beach, to answer the big question everyone asks. How do you survive a rainy day here in Great Britain? Well, let's go. Let's explore the theme park in the rain to see if it's a good day, even in terrible weather. Now, it wouldn't be a trip to Blackpool if we didn't try and spot our name on the wall of names, so let's have a look, let's have a look. tip for surviving a rainy day is plan ahead. Sounds silly but weather apps now are so good they'll give you a breakdown of what time the bad rain's coming so you know what I mean if, if you've got a bit of time in the morning get on your favourite rides first if you know it's going to stop halfway through the day save them for them just prioritise because a ride becomes a totally different experience in the rain. Luckily a lot of the rides here are built for rain so you know what I mean you are going to get on most stuff. Big one doesn't run very well in wind or rain, so plan ahead accordingly. No one up there. So one thing you can do here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach to avoid the rain outside is come do some retail therapy and I've got to be honest. The shops here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach have so much incredible merchandise. You've got Crocs this year, so you even get all your favourite Crocs, Croc charms, and what I really love the most, theme park ride bits. So you've got uh, some box here full of wood. Now this wood used to be from Nickelodeon Streak. You've got this just come off, and uh, the Grand Prix which is now closed, £100 a piece. I think it's really good, you can have that. You can have that in my, uh, my bedroom. You've got lots of ride parts. Bits from the old wild mouse, rest in peace. £40. All sorts. You can even get Covid stickers from back when it was Covid. Like I say, a good way of escaping the rain. It's retail therapy. And like I say, there's a lot of different stores at Pleasure Beach. They have a lot of amazing merchandise as well. They do merchandise really well here. This is the Icon Shop. Oh, look at that. It's a shame. So you've got Wallace and Gromit Thrillomatic. That's a dark ride here at the park. Another top tip for you here to avoid the rain, go on your dart rides. Blackpool Pleasure Beach has got an amazing selection of dart rides. I'm going to show you a few of them as we go around, but perfect way to avoid the rain. And they're quite good in length, three or four minutes ago, so it's finding quite a lot of time out of the rain. Capable of over 125 RPM. That's <laughs> So yeah, you do also have the ghost train, so you've got 
house is Wonderland closed today, sadly, but good way of getting out of the rain. You have got Washington Grant River Caves, but at the moment this season, been down since first day, really, same first day, you can sit for your house train as well if you're brave enough. And if you're not wet enough, you can always get wetter for the ride on SpongeBob. Now. now the rain does create one exciting excuse. You can get on the water rides, so we're on SpongeBob Splash Rush. I've never been on this before. And our feeling we're gonna get absolutely soaked, aren't we, Kate? Absolutely soaked. Water guns at the ready. Yes, well protect me! By squirting people! <laughs> I hope you're happy with this one, Kate. Okay, get him, get him! Get him! Ah <laughs> protect me, Kate, protect me. Don't do it. Don't do it. No, don't. Oh. Yeah, stop there, stop there. Because you get squirted and I don't. So yeah, I think the important thing, we live in Britain. You think part day is flip of a coin, whether it's going to be rainy or not. So you've got to get used to it. You've got to be prepared. Dress for the day. Make sure you've got your waterproofs, your ponchos, your warm stuff. Make sure you bring a change of clothes as well in your car. There is an indoor attraction here called Impossible. Bit of a fun house. There used to be a swing at the end. There is a mirror maze in there as well. So it's a good bit of time to kill. If it is raining, get you indoors. It's fun. There are some fun bits and pieces in there too. Do not run. So we've made it into the Don't Run mirror maze section oh. of Impossible. No, you want to do it. There's nothing scary. Go on. It's just a mirror maze. I mean, it's not a Take the complex mirror maze like the stickers on all the mirrors. Is that actually? Yeah. Oh. Well, yeah, there is actually. Anything that says don't run is a mirror. Oh, yeah, that's so very true. Surface is sticky top. Yeah. That's a good point, Lindsay. Oh. You're ruining the magic, though, here of this mirror maze. Oh. I don't know where they've gone. Oh. Oh no. oh no! Oh no! You scared me! We thought you've obviously somebody's taking the wrong turn somewhere. Yeah, it's definitely not this way. I've took a wrong turn. Took a wrong turn, didn't you? Yeah. I knew I was lost, but oh, we're out into the hall of mirrors. Don't look any different. So this is a hall of mirrors. Now I don't know if this illusion's going to work on camera, so let's have a look. Well, it does! Mounting Munro, Einstein. Oh, 
can you shake hands with yourself? Then that works on camera. <laughs> More illusions. Or at least I think they are. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it's a light to stop you from walking into that. Which... Oh, yeah. Triangle is 2D, but your brain will see it as 3D. Probably doesn't work in this picture. minutes in uh, Impossible, you're doing all the kind of challenges. You know, it's not amazing, but it's something nice to get out of the rain on a day like today. Now, dark rides aren't your pace. There are quite a lot of rides around the park that are encapsulated indoors as such. So, we've got things like Derby Race, uh, there is a carousel further on down the park. Uh, some of the kids' rides like Dora's, uh, Dora the Explorer, stuff like that, is kind of in a, an enclosed vehicle, so you will stay dry on those as well. So, I mean, yes, you've got dark rides. Yes, you've got these indoor flats, and there's lots of kind of attractions where you will stay dry. So, yeah, if you're looking to stay dry, you don't want to be in the rain on a rainy day. But the place which has actually got quite a lot to do. But I still recommend getting on these coasters, even in the rain. Now, we've just come off an amazing ride on Avalanche. And it brings me to a good point. So I was saying before how good ponchos are in the rain. But just bear in mind, you can't actually ride Avalanche in a poncho. They make you take them off. So some rides might not be able to wear the poncho. So if it's raining, Avalanche might be worth avoiding. <laughs> I think ultimately the main thing to remember is you are at a theme park. It doesn't matter what the weather's like, whether it's pouring down, whether it's raining, whether it's snowing, you're still at a magical place full of joy. Your mood is what will make your day. If you're in a bad mood, you're not feeling it, you're going to have a bad day. If you're feeling good, getting on some rides, you're feeling positive, you'll have a good day. So keep going, you've got it. Ultimately, whether it's a wet day, whether it's raining or not, you can get soaked on this ride here, Valhalla. So, perfect excuse on a rainy day to get on it. You know, what's the, what's the problem? You're already wet, but I get totally drenched on the best water ride in the world. Wow. So, so that's not just a rainy day. That's from Valhalla. 
definitely the wettest ride in the UK. One of the best water rides in the world, and I'd say rainy day, snowy day, hot day, whatever the weather, you need to ride it. Absolutely cracking ride that one. Another top tip, and something I've only just been told about, is that if you are here, you've survived a really rainy day, and it's rained for three hours or more, you actually can invoke a rainy day guarantee and come back for free. So, you know what I mean? Even if it's a horrible day, a lot of rides are down, just remember, you can come back and have a better day. So, for me, keep your chin up. Have an amazing day. So that's another day, Blackpool Pleasure Beach in the rain, successfully tackled. I hope if you're coming down on a rainy day, you make the most of it. So before I go, if you're scared of anything, if you're worried about anything in life, you've got it, you're strong enough to do it. Don't tell yourself otherwise. Thanks for watching, please like, share, subscribe, and I will hatch you again soon.